Okay, today we have a lot of wires in here, but I'm going to show you how to deal with the, uh, with the power problem when you have a blackout or we have a problem with the line, with the power line. As imagine, you can say that this is the power supply, this is our station, uh, uh, just the grid. And if on grid side there's a problem with the power, then I have to make sure that our tracker is secure. So I want to move uh, to, to the secure position and I want to start this procedure. And how I'm gonna do it, uh, how can I just inform our controller that there is something going wrong with the, with the power line. I'm just using this small device, it's pretty cheap, accessible on the eBay and everywhere. Um, this device is connected straight to the power line from one side and on the other side this is a logic which gives me the, the information about the uh, line status. And if the power line status is wrong, I will start secure position, uh, positioning which is just a wind locker. I'm going flat and waiting for uh, for the power uh, if if the power will be back. So as now we have a of course UPS. This small UPS uh, can deal with our motors about half an hour, so it's good enough to uh, to move to the to the secure position position. And this UPS is powering our DC uh, converter to power it our device. So if something gon gonna be happen on the on the line, then the controller will be informed and we will start the secure pos positioning uh, using our battery. So let's let's do it. As you can see, we are straight going to the wind locker positioning, so it started to deal with the uh, with the staying flat and it's not the case when I'm just connect connected on and off and on and off and uh, and the controller uh, will just stop and start stop and start dealing with the wind locker no it's just like okay i'm informed but i have to finish our procedure and of course if in some cases uh, the power will be on and off a few times the controller will not be uh, so stupid to going and stopping and going and stopping just finishing procedure waiting for making sure that and uh, the power is in uh, is okay and then it's it's starting uh, if if everything is okay in, in longer time you, you have a parameter you can just change it then you can start standard proceduring so as you can see i'm just you know switching off and switching on and the ups is still dealing with it it's, there's no any problem with it and the controller is not so stupid to to you know stopping and going so that's all for today it's pretty simple and I just want to inform you that we are able to deal with the UPS with the cheapest UPS you don't have to buy a very expensive device this was about $25 something like that a new one and good enough to deal with our trucker